This video will show the screenshots involved in setting up the John Deere Rate Controller 2000 for a Surefire Gen 3 liquid shift system with a single product. Quick Start Card 4761 has these screenshots. Navigate to the menu screen and select the John Deere Rate Controller 2000. Press the Setup arrow, then press the Implement tab. Press Change New and select New Profile. Enter a name for the system. Select Liquid FERT tool to run a single product. Enter the implement width for your system. The application mode is liquid. Enter the number of sections for your system. 12 row systems will have 12 sections, 16 rows will have 16 sections, and 24 rows will have 12 sections. Verify the section width and section setup. Choose Custom for the pressure sensor. Enter a maximum pressure of 85 and check the alarm box. Check the box if you will have a height switch on your system. The control valve type is PWM close. The valve response rate is 80. Control dead band is 2%. Coil frequency is 100. High limit is 80. Low limit is 25. PWM startup is 35. These settings can be adjusted as needed in the field for best performance. The flow meter calibration is 2000. The flow meter units are gallons. Enter the tank capacity and set the low tank level alarm as desired. Enter at least one rate. Most rates will be predefined unless you are running a map-based prescription. Check the rate smoothing box and enter the desired percent. Decimal shift will normally be one. On very low rates, you may use two. On very high rates, you can use zero. Set the off rate alarm as desired. The setup summary is shown. You will get this message about the pressure sensor. Press Accept. Press Settings. Choose Pressure Sensor Setup. Calibrate Pressure Sensor. Use Voltage-Based Calibration. Enter 50 millivolts per PSI. Go to the Auxiliary Features Setup. The RPM sensor on the pump motor is 15 pulses per revolution. Set the RPM high limit at 500 and check the box. This will prevent overspeeding of the pump if there is an inlet restriction or a blockage on the outlet side. Choose display settings to set up the items that will appear on the run screen. We want to be able to see gallons per minute, pressure or PSI1, DC percent which is the PWM duty cycle, speed or miles per hour. Select flow rate sensor setup. Set the flow meter low limit for your system. If you are ever operating with only one or two sections on, this will keep the pump at a level which the flow meter can read, which may cause a higher rate to be applied on those few rows for a short time. Press JDRC2000 to bring up the run screen. Press one of the two boxes at the bottom. We want to have the RPM reading here. We now have a full picture of how the system is operating. Gallons per minute, pressure, PWM duty cycle, and pump RPM. To run the system without moving, you can enter a test speed and either run the system in manual mode or in auto mode. The Diagnostics button gives you access to more information about the system in System Summary and Product Summary. You can see operational information under the Readings tab. The Test tab lets you run system tests. The Surefire document 396-4761Y1 has the screenshots for this setup.